I just had my natural hair pulled up in a bun and I was trying to get a hood over it because I was so embarrassed and didn't want anyone to see me. If anybody asked, I would just play it off like I was hiding my forehead because I thought my, thought my forehead was big. But the truth is, I was so self-conscious about leaving the house without my weave. But I'm just on a different journey in my life at the present moment where I have to think about how does something affect me for the future as well as what can it offer me in the present tense. So of course, giving up weaves was a very easy decision when I thought about those two factors. And if you stay for the rest of this video, you will find out exactly why. For anybody who knows me, I used to be Queen Bundles. I'm getting Brazilian body wave, Peruvian straight hair, those were my two favorites. I would get the one pack of 26 inch, a 24, two 22s, a 20 and an 18, and a full lace closure. Like, I was spending so much money. I would turn to AliExpress to order cheaper hair and the quality was just hit and miss. So sometimes I would spend so much money and end up with something that was useless. And let me tell you, the hardest thing is trying to get your money back from some company overseas. And that's actually the first reason why I decided to stop wearing waves is because of how much money I was spending. For anybody who doesn't know, a lace closure alone, like pretty good quality, goes for like $175 to $250. And this is probably on the lower end. I stopped wearing weaves almost two years ago. Back then, I was looking at 5A, 6A, and 7A quality hair. I don't keep up to date, so I don't know what's popping right now, but that's what I was getting. And I was spending money, let me tell you. My bundles all together would come up to like $500, $600, and to me it was nothing. I mean, it was something, but I spent it like nothing. To me it was a necessity. I needed to get my hair done, and that was the only way, was getting my bundles and my closure. And let me tell you, I loved it. I loved it and I miss it, but everything I do in life right now has a bigger purpose and I don't see how spending that much money on hair on a regular basis is going to help set me up for a bigger and greater future. Anyways, I'm going to be doing my hair in the meanwhile, so this is how I save money now. For starters, I do my own hair. Of course, not everybody can do that. I'm lucky enough to be multi-talented, so what I did was single braids in 1B and color 33. Guys, if I was in Ontario, this hair would be $2.99 a pack. In BC, it's $5. I bought five packs. That's $20. Savings. Anyways, I did single braids all the way through. And then... I thought, oh, it just looks really flat. So I decided to do it a little bit more boho by adding some curly pieces of Freetress Body Wave. So you'll see that through. It's also all the way down to my waist. You know, even though I'm not spending as much money as I used to on my hair, it doesn't make me feel any less than. I still feel great about myself and I know that I'm doing this for a greater purpose. Anyways, I use the Gorilla Glue to lay my edges with a toothbrush because my hair is actually natural and it's a 4C texture. So the kinky hair, the tough hair, the wrap, the coarse, the coils. Texture, so it's really difficult to maintain. Everything from here back is completely natural and I did perm my edges because of course I needed it to match the texture of the bone straight hair I was getting. 
I'm black, full black. I don't have bone straight hair. Who am I trying to fool? No, I want to be as close to me as possible. So that's the second reason why I stopped wearing weaves is because my natural hair was really starting to suffer. One, with the perming the edges so much, um, my hair is like really thin in the front. It's also very sensitive. The second thing is I would have my hair done for like six weeks at a time, take it out and get my weave done immediately. So my scalp was never getting that chance to breathe. I was working out a lot, so my head was getting like really itchy and you just can't get to it under the weave. Like you guys know my struggle. If you know, you know. But now I can reach my scalp at any point in time to moisturize it, to wash my hair, to scratch my scalp. Like it's just so much easier to maintain my natural hair, which is my focus for the future. I really want my natural hair to be like sh past my shoulders and I want to be able to be comfortable with just styling it and going without even having to do single braids if I don't want to. That is the third reason why I stopped wearing weaves is because I realized that I was very self-conscious about my natural hair. So in that short period of time where I would take out my weave and maybe go to the hair store or go to do laundry, go outside, I'd have a hood on and I realized like, I was like, oh, you know, my forehead just looks really big or I don't want anyone to see my kinky hair or, you know, my hair's pretty long. It goes, it goes to my shoulders. Um, even like through the shrinkage, it reaches down to my shoulders. It goes in a ponytail, but I was still embarrassed and and I thought about it like how sad is that I'm embarrassed of my hair instead of being embarrassed forever I decided to be proactive what can I do to my hair in the long term so that I won't be embarrassed five years from now I'm working on my own hair by doing these protective styles where I'm not applying heat no chemicals and I'm barely combing through the hair so that it can actually have a chance to grow <laughs> not once again not saying there's anything wrong with weaves every now and then it's cool to switch it up you might see me wear a wig but not for the long term another reason why I decided to leave the weaves alone is because of public perception it seems like society puts this negative stigma on black women that wear weaves Although all nationalities wear weaves, this is not just the black thing, honey. It's funny because when a white girl or an Asian girl adds length to their hair, it's cute and it looks good. When a black girl decides to do bundles, it's ghetto or you're trying to be someone else. You're trying to cover up your culture. Like people just read really deep into things. Like I can't tell you how many comments, negative comments I got from the men I was, the men. Guys I would date would always have something to say about my tracks. Like, are you dumb? You don't even know what tracks are. And it's really none of their business. And I mean, of course I shouldn't care what other people say. It doesn't mean that it doesn't affect me at all. It did play a large role in why I decided to go more natural. So once again, I'm really just working on myself, becoming more comfortable with who I am completely. That way, none of that stuff will affect me in the future. Anyways, it's crazy, moving on. But it ties hand in hand with the last reason why I decided to stop wearing weaves is because I found that I was really supporting non-black companies or businesses that did not even like my people. For example, a lot of the companies in my community, they didn't have a lot of good things or positive things to say about black people. So why am I giving them a big chunk of my paycheck by the month and supporting them when they don't even, even like me? It just it doesn't, doesn't make a make lot, a of, lot sense. of sense. It is what it is. If you can relate to anything that I said, let me know down below in the comment section. Let's talk about this because I know I'm not the only person who has thought about this or experienced this. Also, if you stopped wearing weaves, 
or you are religiously wearing weaves and you ain't giving it up, let me know down below as well. I'm very interested in hearing from a different point of view. Before I end this video, so as I mentioned earlier, I spent about 20 to $25 on this hair. I spent $4 on these little aluminum clips and I have like 10 in here, but I also went to the craft store and bought a whole bunch of cowrie seashells. These have a very significant spiritual meaning behind them. Google is your best friend. I'm not here to really teach nobody. I bought these gold clips and a bunch of different colored strings. I'm gonna show you how I transform this, you know, pretty boring, cheap hairstyle into a thousand dollar hairstyle. This is the final product. So I added a bunch of these seashells. I've got a strand with just straight loops going through it. I've got a crisscross braided with a white shell to match it. And this is probably my favorite. These curly ones are really an issue. I'll probably end up hot watering them with rollers just to keep them looking nice and curly. And this is my absolute favorite braid. It's so cute. I'm really proud of myself. It's a $50 hairstyle, probably.